guys, it's Bella and I'm back again with another video. I am so excited for today's video. I'm so excited to film it. I'm so excited to edit it. Today's video is so exciting. As you guys can see by the title, today I'm going to be doing my 2020 MacBook Pro unboxing. Y'all. Y'all, it's in here. It's in here. And I've been literally waiting to open it. I've been waiting maybe like an hour or two to open it. I got it a little while ago. Just a quick little disclaimer because I know a lot of people have to do disclaimers in the beginning of their videos to avoid negative comments. I just want to say that I, I'm i really grateful. I really appreciate this. This means the absolute world to me. I could not be more excited. I just don't want to come off as spoiled or anything like that. I am actually paying for this. The way that I'm paying for it because I didn't have all the money to afford it right away was I'm doing monthly payments through Best Buy. We bought this through Best Buy, so I'm doing monthly payments on it. So I would be able to afford it and everything like that. So I just want to do a quick disclaimer. I could not be more happy about this. I don't want to come off as spoiled. I don't want to come off as selfish or anything like that. I'm just really excited and I really wanted to share this moment with you guys. But yeah, so that's just my little disclaimer. I just wanted to put that quick little part out there but yeah so I'm just gonna get right into it so before I open this up I do want to say that I have never had a MacBook before the computer that I have right now is a Chromebook I'm not sure what model or anything like that oh, it's an HP I don't know if that makes a difference but it is an HP and I've got it my freshman year Christmas that Christmas I got it so it's only a couple years old and I think I am going to sell it so I decided to get this one because it is getting, the Chromebook is getting a little bit slow and I'm going to be doing running start slash dual enrollment this year. I also want to be able to improve my YouTube videos and I'm thinking about starting like a little bit of a side business along with having an actual job. So I just thought this computer would be the best for me. That's just kind of why I decided to get it. It would help me with my YouTube videos a lot with editing and uploading. It would also just be a really good computer for me to have for school. So that's why I decided to get it. Um, like I said, I got it through Best Buy. I believe the payments are somewhere between $60 and $70 a month for 24 months. Um, I ordered this, I believe, last either Wednesday or Thursday. Today is Tuesday when I'm recording this. It just came in a couple hours ago, like I had said, but I am just gonna be unboxing it. I'm really excited. I cannot be more excited. I've literally been waiting. You can ask any one of my friends. So we're gonna get right into it. I lowered it a little bit with you guys so that you guys can see. Oh wait, hold on. Also, I do wanna mention, I did get some accessories to go with it. So this is kind of like an accessory unboxing customization video all in one. So let me show you guys what I got real quick off of Amazon for my MacBook. So to start off, I got this case. It comes with this keyboard cover. I don't know if I'm gonna use the keyboard cover yet, but it's just a plain pink case. Since this MacBook is a 2020 and it's relatively a newer model, they didn't have a, a bunch of super, super cute cases. But this case came with the case, the keyboard cover, it comes with a screen protector, which, and it came with little inserts that you put in the little plugs on the side, they're like dust protectors or something like that, and it matches the case. But I will link everything down below as well, just so you guys are able to get it yourself. I got a marble mouse pad, and if you don't notice, it's kind of going along with the theme of my room because my bed is pink and marble. I got a Bluetooth white, mouse to go with the mouse pad. I got some webcam covers just because I thought it was going to look better than tape and I didn't really want to put tape on my new computer so I did get some webcam covers. And finally I got this little 6-in-1 USB-C hub so that I can plug some other ports into it since if you don't know MacBooks they only come now with the USB-C. So I got this and it comes with three USB ports a SD card reader, a micro SD card reader, and an HDMI port. But that's the accessories. I'll get into it more later, but I'm gonna unbox this now. Oh my God. It wasn't real until just now. Stop, oh my God. Oh my God. Okay, so as you guys can see, it's the new one. It's the 2020. I got it in space gray. It comes with the touch bar and the touch ID, eight gigabytes of RAM memory. And then I got the 512 gigabytes of SSD. I'm so excited. I'm like scared to open it. It's not real yet. Hold on guys, I need a minute. Okay, so I'm gonna open it now. So there's this little tab. That wasn't as uh, satisfying as all of the other videos made it seem. Um, mine didn't rip off all the way, so I was kind of sad. But we're just gonna get right into it. Oh my god! 
This is what it was looking like. You're kidding. Everybody in their unboxings always go through the boring stuff first. So basically you just get this charger. It looks pretty long and it's like just the charging cord. Then behind here you get your instructions and then you get this big charging block. But we're just gonna set this up aside for right now. It also comes with the Apple stickers. This comes in space gray since I did get the MacBook in space gray. Oh my lord. I'm afraid to get fingerprints on it, I'm sweating. starting to turn on okay i do think i'm gonna put the case on though real quick y'all hold on you're going too fast okay so i got the bottom on set you guys in a different spot so you guys can see a little better okay so i really hope you guys can see this i'm just gonna quickly set it up and we will get to customizing okay so i love when that happens um basically i literally started customizing my thing and i guess my phone wasn't recording i didn't do much all i did was my hot corners and i put my little webcam cover on i think you guys already saw me put my laptop case on but I literally didn't get the chance to do very much, so that's good that I caught that before anything happened. But I did do my hot corners, and I also was telling you guys that the way that I found out how to customize all these things is with this girl's YouTube video, which I will link down below. Her name is Julia K. Christ, or Chris. I'm not really sure how to say it completely. But like I said, all I've done is hot corners, and then I set it up like regular, so I did my fingerprint and then I also did Siri and set up all the other technical stuff but this is what I did so my top left corner is just all of my apps or whatever and then my top right is my notification center and then my bottom left my bottom left is my screensaver and like I was telling you guys I'm gonna download the analog clock and I think that's what I'm gonna do next just so that looks regular so I am on her video I have it pulled up because I don't know how to do these things by heart so I have this pulled up. I did the hot corners and I also was listing off the things that I wanted to customize for you guys. So I wanted to customize my hot corners. I wanted to customize my touch bar, make it big, smaller, do the show and hide. And I also wanted to do deleting apps off of the touch bar and everything like that. I wanted to customize my wallpaper, make my own like collage wallpaper type thing. I wanted to do my folder icons because you can customize those. Also wanted to put on my case, which I already did. And then I wanted to connect my mouse. I want to download the analog clock. I want to do my accent colors. And I'm pretty sure that's all I really want to do for customization right now on this video. If I come up with other things along the way, I definitely will. But that's my little list thing that I have to do. But like I said, next I'm gonna download the analog clock. So I'm gonna go to her video and figure out how to do that real quick. So she said just to download this from Mac right here. And she said, oh. So it downloads and then she said that she just down or drags it onto the desktop. I love when I don't know what I'm doing, bro. So to double click on it, you know, open it, then she said to double click on that. So now it pops up that hand and I can click on it and I think that's it. So let's see. Oh my god, yay! Okay, so it worked. So now I have the analog clock right there. Okay. Did the analog clock now. The next thing that I think I'm going to customize is my wallpaper and basically the gist of it is that you basically go to Canva and then I know you're supposed to look up the dimensions to dimensions. 
and I go get a bunch of pictures I drag them onto the desktop and one thing that I really do want to do is I want to try FaceTime with my friends on here just because I think it'd be fun okay let's call Terrence <laughs> we're customizing wait can we add oh my god we can add Dom Say hi to the camera, Mia. Where's Dom? Ring him. Yes. <laughs> yes. Hi, Dom. Hi. Say hi to the vlog. Hi, vlog. <laughs> this is so cool. Oh my God. Can't you put filters and stuff? Can I? I don't know. <laughs> Say bye to the vlog. Okay, well that was so cool. Okay, now I'm gonna go through and customize my thing. And I'm gonna go to Pinterest and look up aesthetic photos. And also another thing, I completely got two different things mixed up. I forgot this is the touch bar and that's the dock. So when I said that I wanted to customize the touch bar, because I put down touch bar and apps thing and I, di I didn't click in my head that this and this are two different things so I want to customize the touch bar and I want to customize the dock there we go in case that was a little lost and I also want to download iMovie that's another thing that Mia reminded me of that I wanted to do Okay, so I think I'm gonna go with this one. I basically just kind of did like a cute purple pink theme. But yeah, so this is what it's looking like. Now I have to figure out how to save it and everything and put it onto like the actual thing. So that's what it looks like. I really, really, really like it. I think it's super cute. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and delete all these little things, put them in the recycle bin. So now that I have my wallpaper done, I think I want to customize the touch bar. So I'm going to go ahead and go on her video and look to see how I do that. Actually, no, first we'll do the how to change the accent colors because I already know I want to change it to pink. So I changed that, so now I'm gonna go like this and I go up here and click on things. It's pink, which I really, really like, and it matches the vibe. So I think that's really cool. So I already did the accent colors, as you saw. Now I wanna go through and do my touch bar and my dock, but that I think requires going to her other video. So basically, you should just like preferences. And then you go to dock, and then this is where you can do like the I want to do magnification, so like when I go like that, it goes like that. I like the genie effect. 
Um, I want it on the bottom. The size, I wanted a little, oh, never mind. I wanted the magnification a little bit smaller. So now it just goes up a little bit like that. And then I also want to do hide and show, so I have to go down here to actually see it so it looks a little bit less cluttered. And yeah, so I think I just customized the dock like that. And so now it's hide and show, and it also does the magnification. And I also want to do the touch bar. Okay, so apparently the way you customize the touch bar is it's actually a keyboard. Yes, okay, so drag your favorite items to the bottom of the screen to add them to the touch bar. Drag up items from the touch bar to remove them. So I don't know that you guys can see, but actually the mouse goes down here on the touch bar. I'm still not sure if you guys are gonna be able to see that, but basically what I do is just drag things down and up. So what do I want on there? The volume slider, which I have that down there. There's a whole bunch of other settings down here, so I really don't know what they all do, but again, I'll mess with it later. I'll leave that like that so I customized my touch bar and then I did that with the dock but I do want to remove some things that I'm probably not going to use so I think that's all that I'm going to remove from the dock for now so now that I customized my dock and my touch bar all I have left is my folder icons and I have to download iMovie so iMovie is already on my dock okay so it looks like iMovie is all downloading so now that I have iMovie done I am going to make folders. I want one for YouTube and then I also want one for potential business. And then if you guys stay tuned for probably tomorrow or the day after that, I am going to be doing a organizing and getting ready for online school, which I will make more folders for school in that. If you guys want to see that video, make sure to stay tuned but I'm going to make these folders and customize them and I'll also make one for my background. I think I'm just gonna do the butterfly. I think I'm gonna do the black one. So I'm gonna do, do, do I download it? Yeah, I download it, okay. Command A, Command C, not Control. Command V. Okay, so the butterfly worked on that one. And command B. There we go. So now I have some cute little icons over here. I can't really see them too well, but that's okay. But yeah, so I just have my little folders up there. That's where I put them. I'm not sure if you can really see them, but they're up there. And now, the next thing that I wanna do is connect my mouse. Okay, well it's not working right now, so I'm gonna just tap out on that one and I'll try that later. I think that's it. So I think that's actually all I'm going to do for customizing right now. Um, I don't really know what I'm doing completely, so like I said, I am going to play with it a little bit more later, but I do have to go to the store. But yeah, so that was me customizing and opening up my MacBook. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I know I enjoyed it and I can't wait to edit on this new iMovie on the MacBook because now I can do a lot more with my editing and I'm just really excited to have a fast working computer and I'm just super excited and today is a really good day for me so but um thank you guys so much for watching I really hope you guys enjoy this video make sure like to like comment and subscribe on this video and let me know down below what you guys would like to see from me in the future I love you guys so much and thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time bye guys